And we begin with a developing story that started with a bullet ridden home in Gaines Township and ended with a stolen car slamming into a home in Grand Rapids. We're told a total of eight suspects have been arrested and we've also learned they are all juveniles. 13 on your side's Trevier Gonzalez just spoke to the sheriff moments ago and Trevier, we understand there were also firearms found in these stolen vehicles. Yeah, Kirk, that is absolutely right. From the images that we were sent, it looks like it's just multiple handguns that ended up being recovered. Now, you need to remember that that particular place where this happened was just riddled, and we saw, like, uh, my understanding is at least more than 50 bullet holes coming through this particular area. Now, that happened yesterday, of course, but this ended up spurring so many other situations. Now, we do know that eight of those juveniles have all been, are, are all under custody, and at this point, the charges have not yet been said as to what they might be facing, but we do know that this spread into so many situations because when we do look back at what happened just earlier this morning with Grand Rapids police and the northwest side, we ended up seeing how one of those stolen cars, it was not a Kia, but rather a Toyota, they ended up taking uh, this particular vehicle and just striking it through into this home. And, and from that situation, we ended up seeing it becoming uh, it, it, nobody was particularly affected in this by, by injury, but it just kind of goes to show of how much is really at stake. Now, at this point, when we do speak with the undersheriff here, he did say that this is something that can easily be prevented, and it's something that really takes the community. Yeah, we, we need the help from the public. Uh, we need the help with the parents. We need the help with the neighbors. Uh, law enforcement is typically a reaction to responding to events and we really need the assistance of the community to try to stop these from occurring in the first place. Now back at that crash that happened in Northwest Grand Rapids, our understanding is that there are no injuries and for, for any of those people, whether officers or people within that particular residency, the same thing that goes with this particular situation uh, that happened in the Gaines town, Township. At that point, uh, there are my understanding is there are no more suspects that they're looking for, but the charges that would be forthcoming are not yet listed. It's going to be a bit of a longer process just because we are working with juveniles, Kirk.